A few weeks ago, uh, actually a week ago yesterday, the nation lost one of its most selfless and unique public servants uh, with the passing of my predecessor, uh, former North Carolina 10th District Congressman Cass Ballinger. Uh, from 2000, uh, up until 2005, uh, Congressman Ballinger represented the 10th District of North Carolina the United States House of Representatives. During that time, he served as chairman of the House Subcommittee on Workforce Protections, where he authored groundbreaking legislation that improved workplace safety and created the opportunity for employers and regulators to be partners, not adversaries, in protecting the health and safety of workers. As chairman of the Western Hemisphere Subcommittee on the International Relations Committee, he took on the daunting and often thankless task of fighting to promote democracy and defend human rights in Central and South American nations. He did this not only for the sake of justice in those countries, but also to protect the interests of the United States. His personal commitment to serving his constituents is a legendary example that I strive every day to follow. Uh, I was a beneficiary of his kind and gracious nature when I was elected to represent the 10th District in 2005 after his decision to retire from the House. He personally provided me with guidance and assistance that immeasurably helped me as a new member of Congress um, and um, ensured the continuity of our quality constituent services for Western North Carolina. In his personal and professional life, uh, Cass uh, placed himself, uh, uh, well, he placed others before himself. He was a part of the greatest generation, went and fought World War II, returned home to go to college. Afterwards, started a family, joined his family's business, um, his father's business that was in box manufacturing. He told his father that boxes were the thing of the past and the wave of the future was plastics. Um, it's almost like it was George Bailey coming home to say that. Um, so as a county commissioner in Catawba County, he was one of the first Republicans elected uh, after the Civil War. Uh, uh, and then now, uh, at this date, Catawba County is one of the most Republican counties in the state of North Carolina. Uh, he led the way to establish the Catawba Valley Community College and Catawba Valley Medical Center. As a legislator in the North Carolina General Assembly, he authored the state's first meaningful open meetings law and was uh, named the most effective Republican legislator by the North Carolina Institute of Government. It would take volumes to talk about uh, all of his philo philanthropic work uh, of uh, Congressman Ballinger and his wife Donna, uh, but they are responsible for countless schools, daycare centers, hospitals, and disaster responses in the United States and in Central and South America as well. Uh, personally, uh, Cass was the ultimate character. He could tell you a great story, a great joke, and tell you off, and you would, you would all laugh at everything that he said. Um, he, uh, in addition to being one of the most uh, uh, distinguished members of the North Carolina Republican delegation and North Carolina delegation generally, Congressman Ballinger was uh, also very colorful. Uh, there are great moments here on the House floor uh, that we can point to, um, but um, any, anyone who spent any time with him knew that he was affable, kind, and brutally honest. He would tell you exactly what he was thinking in generally some hilarious way. Uh, he was one of the few people who could hold someone accountable in the most blistering way possible, make you laugh, and also help you out of a tight spot all in one conversation. He was a rare person indeed, and he will be missed. So I ask my colleagues to join with me in a moment of silence on the passing of Congressman Cass Ballinger. Thank you. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. 